Okay, so today we're going to take a quick look at Revo Uninstaller or Revo Uninstaller. Ah, that's up to you how you want to call it. And what it does not only deletes or uninstalls a program, but it will find traces of that program on your system, which you cannot do just by uninstalling it with a provided uninstaller on uh, Windows. And now we're gonna do something. I'm gonna find something. This one, for example. I made a video before. It's it's a beautiful uh, software, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Hit uninstall. I don't need a system restore point. I'm gonna click continue. Click yes. You use restore point, by the way, when you're uninstalling system applications or Windows applications. In this case, we're gonna do moderate scan for residual files so there are sometimes files that will remain on your system after you have uninstalled as you see right here i don't want any of these leftover files on my computer from that software so now we hit uh, delete right here yes and boom here it is gone now with windows apps it's exactly the same. For example, I don't know what I'm going to get rid of here. For example, yeah, I don't I don't use phone link. Why would I use phone link? Anyway, so click phone link. I'm going to go to uninstall and I'm not going to make a restore point because I know what I'm doing at this point. It fires up PowerShell to go through command line and get rid of what it needs to. Just give it a second or two to get itself together and delete what it needs really quick. Okay, so now we are gonna scan for residual files as you see. Yep, we have leftover garbage that we need to take out. And uh, I don't need anything to do with Microsoft phone because I never use that. Boom, all these files now. I'll hit delete and they're gone. Boom, that's how you fully uninstall something from your computer to leave zero traces behind but there's something else that you can do right here uh if you go to options you can have the general of course here the options to skip information and all that uninstaller you can show the system updates that uh you could get rid of the remaining uh, system updates and not supported in vista or Windows 7, 8, and 10, which I have 10, but Windows 11, it should work. Junk files cleaner. You can delete files to the recycle bin or just get rid of them. I would suggest to leave this ignore files accessed in the last 24 hours alone because that might be files you need to keep. And here's just to view stuff. We don't care about that too much. And the rest is these tools here. Auto run manager that you can make it uh, to get rid of stuff that runs automatically when your computer starts. Because if you go to uh, start settings or startup on your computer, you'll see some, but not all of them. As you see, the list here is not that big. But here, the list is way bigger that you can get rid of of a lot of things and it would let you know for example fresco logic i don't even use it anymore i don't want it to start right away and i don't want uh steel series to start right away by itself on the very beginning black magic video updater i don't want that stream server i don't want that either so do you see there's a lot of stuff for example that I don't need it to run when the computer starts. This drill watcher, desktop video helper service. I there's I don't need it. I don't I I can start these if I want to, but not without me d doing it uh by myself. And uh there's Google Updater. I don't need that either. Input director, I don't need that either. So there's so many things that are running on startup. I didn't even know TeamViewer was running on startup. Let me see, for example, here. Is TeamViewer even here? No, I, I even excluded it from here, but somehow it was still managing to be right here. That's why the software is so good. Seriously, that good. And I don't need Boom 3D to start. I don't need Camera Hub. I don't need Blue Stacks without me starting it. I don't need Magix. I don't need Viber. I don't need Edge Auto Launch. I, I, there is a lot. This one, for example, Signal. I don't need Signal. Uh, I don't need fiddle, fiddle Everywhere, whatever it is. You can go here and expand this and see where it's coming from. Fiddle Everywhere. I don't need this one either. So all these are gone now from our 
start up so we released a lot of junk out of our starting uh, point of our computer and here's the junk files if you have any it they will appear right here in my case i don't really have a lot so there's not much to see here windows tools you have them all in one place check disk disk defragmenter on-screen keyboard tcp ic netstat command this is really beautiful so you have them all in one place browser cleaners you can delete temporary files cookie session history all that in one place for all the browsers you have installed as you see right here this is absolutely beautiful microsoft office cleaner if you want to get rid of that windows cleaner recent documents history i don't need that start menu run history i don't need that find file history i don't need that i don't need that history i don't need this history this history reg edit last open key history nope i don't need that i don't need that and i don't need these either empty clipboard yep i want to empty it empty recycle bin yep temporary files yep i want to get rid of them crush them files delete check disk recovery file fragments and i'm gonna leave thumbnail cache alone because i want it to load faster that's why i'm leaving that one alone and you can just hit clear right here click yes run history will be deleted after explorer x is done and boom that's it you are ready to go just give it a minute to do all this stuff because it will it will take a moment yeah you'll see here in a second it will take a minute depending on how much junk you have on your history that we're cleaning here okay it took around 40 seconds and track cleaning operations for the selected items have been completed so now we are good i'm gonna get rid of these because i don't want to hit clean by mistake again <laughs> but seriously this uh software can help you keep your windows machine really fresh and this is evidence remover that uh place a check mark on the drive which contain traces and evidence of your work that you want to delete but be careful after the process has completed it will be impossible to recover your deleted files. Now, that would be a great idea for a video, actually, to put this to test against uh, either Disk Drill or any of the recovery tools I use, which I have commercially. So that would be good. This tool only affects the already deleted data. So if you have deleted data on these drives and you just want to make sure they're really scraped from the drive, you can hit that, hit execute, and it will get rid of them and they are not recoverable anymore again and this is unrecoverable delete if we deleted anything and he will it will give us a list of files and folder which will be deleted and will be made impossible to recover that we just saw right there this is absolutely a beast of a software for the price seriously for 15 bucks and you just buy it once i would say one million percent it's worth it and you can go in hunter mode or stealth mode it's right here it brings this uh kind of target thingy right here as you see that is a little target that uh is beautiful and you can target this one for example to let's say i don't know to uh recycle bin to uninstall or remove or you can uninstall this one right here if you want to but i'm not going to because i don't really need to uninstall anything here but basically you grab this target with your mouse and just drop it on whatever you want to uninstall directly and it goes to the point of no return in my opinion this is probably one of the best software that you can have for your uh windows machine that makes absolute sense so yeah we have bleach bit that probably i will I will put bleach bit and stellar recovery and disk drill against this software so i will wipe things clean with this software and try if i can recover them with any of the other software that are made for recovery so that is actually really an interesting thing to do and with that said i hope you enjoyed this video link will be down in the description for your pleasure to go check it out you can get the trial version like I have right here, or you can get the pro version. It's really worth it. You can keep your Windows machine seriously that clean. And uh, please hit like and subscribe. Share it with somebody that might want or need to know about this stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye!